just after 10 a.m. on a Sunday, a rainy Sunday in August. You'd think it would be summer, but no. Both got little layers on today. It is not very warm. But it is empty here at this time and with this weather, which is lovely. Regent Street is probably one of the most beautiful streets in London. I've mentioned this in lots of my other vlogs when we've come here, but in case you're new or you haven't seen the other vlogs, look how stunning these buildings are. And sorry about the rain on the lens, that might be disrupting the view. <laughs> don't be fooled by the emptiness though, it doesn't usually look like this, it's because it's early in a Sunday. Shops don't open until 11ish, 12ish. Oh, yeah, Sunday. Yeah. Sunday so, working trade hours. Yeah, we have Larger Sunday. stores can only work in the we have Sunday trading So we have Sunday trading hours which means that larger stores can only work around 12 to 6, so six hours on a Sunday. So nothing's open yet, which is also why it is empty. Obviously you can see we're trying to speed walk through the rain to get to a coffee shop that is open. now made it to Soho it's still raining but I have to say there's something magical about walking through an empty-ish London in the rain as long as you have an umbrella it's very peaceful very beautiful you get the sound of the rain on your umbrella ah oh, it is lovely here we have it Soderberg on Berwick Street That is certainly a very good looking coffee. My order is a one shot cappuccino with oat milk. Sometimes I do coconut milk, but mainly oat. I love Berwick Street. It's definitely one of my favorites in Soho. This is a record store, so straight. There's another really cool record store that I'm gonna show you guys in a bit, where you can try out all of the records that you want to listen to, that you're interested in buying. Um, but of course, before we start moving, Along to different locations, we're heading to the end of the street where there is the magazine store of the week. Oh man, it really is a sleepy Sunday in Soho. It says they're open. I'm so confused. Why aren't you actually open? It's one of my favorite my parts mind. of Soho. On Broadwick Street, public toilets. I mean, look how photogenic this is. This is gorgeous. 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 So cool. Love these old little spots of London. I'm gonna link in the description box a couple of my other Soho vlogs because I've definitely got a few of them. It's one of my favorite places to come in the West End. It's just got such a nice feel to it. There's so many shops, there's so many great places to like eat or get drinks. Um, if you want a really nice spot to get drinks, I would recommend going to my place Soho, which is actually just down there behind me. It's on like the corner of Berwick Street. Um, and that's a great place to go. But just look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? So it's actually not open yet. It's 20 past 11. I don't think people are gonna, th uh, people are gonna open shops until 12, like we said earlier. But this is Fonica. This is one of the best record shops in the area. Um, and like I said, you can kind of choose which record you want to listen to and then see how you go. Here are the opening hours in case you want to come. So you can see, yeah, 12 till 6 on a Sunday. Darn it. It needs some refurbishment. So the sun's come out just as we start to reach Liberty. This is Liberty here, best apartment store in London, hands down. One to definitely go to. It's got a lot of history. I mean, you can just tell by the outside how old it is. So we are now taking the back streets towards Selfridges because that's the key to managing Oxford Street. It's going to be more crowded even than this area is now, even though the time still would make you think it wouldn't be. So always walk the back streets if you want to go anywhere on Oxford Street. We're going to Selfridges. I haven't been to Selfridges in so long. I'm thinking it must be like minimum a year since I stepped inside, maybe more. Um, so we're heading there now, which is quite exciting when you haven't been somewhere for ages. I always try with these vlogs to show you as much of London as possible. Um, so that if you're planning to come here, you can kind of get a taste and get some tips. Or even if you might not be able to come um, anytime soon or even if it's not possible for you to come, hopefully you can kind of get that feel of London and experience it a little bit for yourself too. It is getting very sunny now. So because we're walking the back streets towards 
Selfridges, which is the Marble Arch end of Oxford Street, which is basically not the end we're at, we are going to be going through a little peak of Bond Street. Um, you can see just here is Fenwick department store. It's another popular one, not one I go to often though. I just really like the feel of Liberty much more. But always an option if you're in the area. And I'll show you Bond Street in a moment. This is where all the high-end stores are. Here's Izumiaki. You can see just to my left, they're starting to peek in. Wow, that is a big puddle. Do you not want to get splashed? Look at that. Someone's drain's not working very well. Whoa, you can hear it, it's crazy. Okay, here is your glimpse of Bond Street. Scaffolding along the floor. Not ideal, road works. But there we go. Let me stand on the pavement here and zoom in for you guys a little bit so you can see a bit of Bond Street. So we are definitely in posh London territory now as we get further down the street. Here is Claridge's, very grand and regal. Even the, the streets and the buildings here, you can see how they differ from those in Soho. Very wide streets, very fresh, bright colours. We're just approaching Oxford Street and there is the corner of Selfridges. It's this building here. And actually, now that I'm here, because I've not been in so long, I'm quite excited to go inside. It feels very nice to go do something I've not done for ages. And Selfridges is massive. Goes the whole way down to just this corner here of the street. All of this is Selfridges. Remember here, the luggage area? So on the low ground floor of Selfridges, they've got a little Conran shop area, which is a great shop to go to, one of our favorites for homeware goods. And they've got these stalls. Look at the price of them. Um, they're like between 190 to 200 something pounds for the stall. And I have to tell you guys, Ikea do the exact same version for like nine pounds, but this bit is wood as well. So it's a good replacement option. So I'm home now. I was a terrible vlogger and my battery died. I need to get my mind back in place of like charging batteries before I go out because that doesn't make any sense. Um, welcome to my bedroom. I'm in here because Alan is watching the football in the living room, Chelsea's playing and that's very important. Um, I don't think you're straight. Oh, that's a bit too wonky. Is this okay guys? Anyway, I'm gonna show you what we picked up at Selfridges. I haven't done a haul like this in ages. We've just got two things um, to show you. A little bit of shopping. Never hurt anyone, did it? Just a little bit. Um, so I got two items. The first one is from the magazine section in Selfridges, which because my battery died, I didn't get to show you guys as much of Selfridges as I wanted to, but I've had this idea to go to Selfridges and like do a vlog just on Selfridges. I haven't been in so long and when I went in today there was like so many new things and it was all very exciting. So I'm thinking to do a vlog dedicated to Selfridges. Please let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see. I think I would have a great time filming it so let me know if you want to see it. But the magazine section in Selfridges is on the lower ground floor. It's superb. They have such a good selection of magazines and I picked up this edition of Breathe. Um, it's a well-being mindfulness creativity escaping magazine and I really love this magazine. So I've stopped kind of buying like Vogue and very fashiony magazines just because they weren't aligning with what I was looking for. This magazine does, it's 5 99 so it's not cheap. And I don't know how often it comes out. I don't know if it's quarterly or monthly or what it is, but it has such great articles in it. I'm gonna just flick through, open some random pages and read you guys the articles it has, well, the title of them. So this one is an entire article on leftover food. So how you can be, there's a plane, um, how you can be less wasteful of your leftover food and um, kind of guides you through how to use the food that you've got left over in your fridge and also how to avoid wasting it, which I think is great. Um, let's have a look, what else is there? Um, there's an article here about reevaluating your life goals, which is really, really good. It's something I've been doing lately, and I'm going to make a video talking about that soon, too. Um, what else are there? Words to live by. So, there's a lot in here which 
it's just well-being based and I think that's such a cool idea for a magazine okay so I found the slip for the um, like if you wanted to sign up to, oh I thought this was about a subscription no okay so they don't have subscriptions but you can pre-order it um, I can't see anywhere saying how often it comes out it's kind of just their website Oh, I think it's like, okay, so this leaflet, it, I thought this leaflet was going to be like a subscription or something. It's not. It just kind of tells you what their next issue is going to be, um, which looks really good. So, want that next time it's out. But yeah, if you're looking for like a wellness-based magazine, I really, really like this one. I want to learn more about who the writers are and who kind of came up with the concept for this magazine because I really, really like it. So I might actually, do you know what, it's Sunday. I am so like cutting it short on time with videos lately guys. That, like you're watching this on a Sunday if you're watching it when I uploaded it. But anyway, I'm going to film this clip showing you what I got. And then I'm going to finish editing today's vlog and upload it tonight. So it's like a live time. So if you're wondering what I got up to today, this is it. And if you're wondering what I was doing before this uploaded, this is it. Um, but after that, I'm going to make bean chilli for us to have over the next couple days because it's good to kind of just pre-prepare some food and then we put it for lunch tomorrow for work as well and then I think I'm gonna relax on the sofa and start reading through this I'm really excited to read this especially the one about um re-evaluating goals that looks really good and then the second thing we got was very unexpected but me and Alan both saw this plant pot as you can see this is Herman behind me my plant and um uh, okay I'll tell you the story first and then I'll show you because it's quite loud and this massive bag um this is Herman he used to be in the living room but I decided recently to move him into our bedroom which I think looks great because our bedroom's entirely white apart from this dark like wood on our bed um we don't have any images up in our bedroom or anything like that it's very plain I like it to be like nothing's going on but I'm loving Herman in here he's a rubber plant I want to make a video about my plants too so hopefully I can do that next week um, I'm not sure when it will be up but hopefully I'll get to do that I've got four days off next week and I have three videos I want to film so fingers crossed I do that <laughs> um, but because I moved Herman in here from the living room we have space in the living room for a plant and Alan and I walked past this plant pot we we're both like oh that is a really really nice plant pot but then we were gonna walk off because we were thinking it's Selfridges it's concrete and it's probably really expensive in fact, let me get it out so I can show you now. Oh. Um, so it's concrete. We thought it was going to be really expensive. And then Alan noticed it's on sale and it was £12. How good is that? And like, we wanted to get a plant. We weren't going to do it this soon, but for £12, I now need to get another plant. I really want to get a Montessera. That's a plant I have wanted. Let's see if I can just rip this open. Um, I actually hate the feeling of this stuff. Also, what a waste of material. But me and Alan um, will reuse this for something. Like, we'll send some posts with it. But. Hello. Hello. I came in here because you're watching your football. Ah. Now you're coming in here. Do you have any tissue paper? Um, no. Sorry. Oh, it smells. Like it's got plastic around it like it's in this and then it's got plastic around it anyway because I, I what was I saying before Alan came Alan just came in so I don't know what I was saying before he came in but look it was 28 pounds I don't know if you're gonna see that and then we got it for 12 and it's annoying me because it's wrapped up in all of this and I can see it's got plastic on which is so unnecessary like this is protective but the plastic isn't needed anyway let me see if i can get it out whilst this paint goes over here crikey it's massively wrapped oh that's heavy this is like i think this is pure concrete guys it is super heavy and i've got all this stuff everywhere oh my god imagine now if i dropped it that would be bad okay. look it's this gorgeous concrete gray more rubbish that we don't need but I guess yeah it's to protect it but still I kind of wish you could say whether you wanted this kind of thing or not Ooh, and it's got on the bottom these grips so this is our new plant pot this will not fit I'm gonna put it here so that 
hopefully it's in focus this will not fit any of the plants we currently have in so it's the perfect opportunity to buy a Montessera fingers crossed we find one hopefully I'm saying it properly um, if you're interested in this plant pot which is just concrete with two handles it is by a band called Serax it says it's designed by Marie Michaelis Michaelson anyway I'm gonna put the brand name to this in the description box and I'll see if I can find it online to link to you guys but 12 pounds is pretty good it's very hefty okay I'm gonna wrap it up here I've been talking for a very long time and um, I have dusty hands now too oh gosh have I <gasps> wow okay I need to bear in mind that this this must be clay rather than concrete because it has made my jumper all dusty dear me okay something to think about if you do want this but I mean it's not on my fingers it's just on my jumper how weird anyway I've said I'm gonna wrap it up a hundred times now so now I really gonna am now I really am gonna I hope you have a lovely weekend have a good week I know it's Monday tomorrow it's never ideal but you've got this you can you can handle it and you can have a good week have a nice Sunday and I'll see you next Sunday bye guys <laughs>